If your app has no downloads or no revenue, then you're probably a victim of a common misconceptions about mobile app business. So in this video, I want to break uh, some of those for you. So first off, like wh wh why am I even uh, talking about this topic? Well, I have launched a lot of apps, uh, both for myself and also for clients. And just I'll give you uh, two examples. One is uh, my app called Delicious and one is my app called Mind. And the Delicious app got uh, around like uh, somewhere between 500 and 1000 users and then to generate a total of $12. Okay, uh, it's not a big potato, but it's uh, not a... Uh, something to be proud of either, right? And then on the, on the other hand, we have this uh, big boy that uh, generated, uh, you know, six figures uh, looking good. This is gross, by the way. Um, uh, store takes like a 15% cut, but uh, still, you know, six figures and doing awesome. And still live, by the way, there are, you know, still uh, users using the app as we speak. So what's the difference? A um, few things. So first, let's talk about tech. So, Tech founders usually uh, believe that tech is the only thing there is, okay, in, in the app business. And as soon as they like build it and launch it, that's it, right? They'll get, uh, you know, like 2 million users and uh, their bank account will grow and everything's amazing. Uh, turns out it's not like that. And uh, took me, <laughs> I don't know, like years, years, unfortunately, to, to, to understand this. Uh, but now, now I do. So, so tech is just the the tool to you know build your app and help people solve problems. So, if you are just uh, building an app like for fun or just because you like want, you haven't researched your users, market, and so on, chances chances of turning that into a profitable business is uh, you know cl close to zero. So that's the first misconception uh, that tech is the most important. And if you are a tech founder, like you can probably build anything that you dream of. Uh, so tech will never never be your risk. What will be your risk then? Um, well, does anyone want your thing, right? Like who's your audience? What problem are you solving? So before getting into uh, tech and spending, you know, months uh, getting uh, things perfect, you should just think about like, who are you? building for what problem are you solving is it a burning problem or is it a nice to have thing so let's see what are the two examples here so delicious is or was a uh app to share recipes with with uh people around the globe and seems cool the tech seems cool right uh, you create your recipe you are all excited, you are, you are sharing it with everyone, then others can, you know, use your recipe and rate it and so on. Um, but turns out that's not really a desire people have. Like, why would I share my recipe with strangers, right? It's not a burning desire. And also, like, why would I even pay for it, right? So the revenue we got was uh, from ads, if I... Uh, I'm not mistaken. It's not connected here, but yeah, as you can see, like there's no uh, purchase revenue. It was all through ads. So, if you need to rely on ads to 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 monetize, then uh, that's not a good thing. Uh, that means that the app doesn't really solve a burning desire. And again, chances of uh, building a successful business out of it uh, is really small. And then on the other hand, there's mind. So mind uh, teaches you about spirituality. So there are uh, bite-sized lessons uh, to help you get started on various topics uh, in the spirituality space. And they are made so that you can like read them, understand them, and then like implement. So very action-driven and it solves a burning desire. Like people want to know who we are, what we are, why we're even here and how, how do things work in this universe. So it is uh, definitely a bigger desire than like sharing recipes with strangers. So that's one thing. Then the other thing uh, I already mentioned, but it's, uh, you know, monetization. Like if you need to rely on ads, um, yeah, it's it's not gonna be good. So you need high volume, high usage, and uh, that usually goes uh, from happens in, in in like social apps and 
chances of uh, building a social app that uh, is going to have like millions of users active every month like that's that's so hard to do in in today's world like you are competing pretty much with tiktok and, and others right so <laughs> good good luck um so yeah ads are out of the question maybe only games can make it but uh yeah I, i'm not an expert on, on games on the other hand if you are solving a burning desire like people are willing to pay and will happily pay um if uh, you know what you give them for that money is uh valuable so monetization is easy there like you just lock um, certain content behind a paywall and they pay and uh, ideally that uh, is through a monthly subscription and and yeah i mean that's it then you use the profit to to make the app even better to to look better and so on so so yeah that's monetization so uh common misconception number two like i need to monetize with ads so no no you don't <laughs> add uh solo burning desire and people will gladly pay for your product so that's that um then number three like where do i find users right so you build the perfect app you spend nine months and who knows uh how much money and like no one is coming so that's also one of the burning problems like who are you building for and then where are those people so so for for me like uh, for delicious app um i had no idea honestly so i just uh, built the app and uh, prayed and hoped for the best uh, <laughs> spoiler alert it's not a good strategy on the other hand with mind uh i've researched facebook groups subreddits i've joined them participated in like 20 or 30 of those and i've asked people like what uh, what are their problems what would they love this app to have what topics to cover and then i just built that i built the thing that uh, people were most excited for and then i just shared it across uh, those communities and, and that's what, how i got the uh, first uh, thousand users so you know start with people with the end users don't don't start with the product with the app with with building like bu building is, is the easy part but finding people that will love your product and finding the painful problem that they will gladly pay for that's the hard part so so focus on that so that was uh number three then number four is like your app needs to be perfect so that's a such a common misconception okay so this is like my big vision i want to have all of these like 170 features i've uh, designed uh, this figma with uh, you know 200 pages uh dark mode light mode everything's perfect and uh, now i just need to spend nine months to build it and uh, yeah and that's it so big big mis misconception again um what you really need is just a good enough app that you can launch in in like a month or so and that's uh called mvp minimum viable product so you basically need to spend as little time as possible to build an app to launch it and then you use that to validate your idea so the point of the mvp is not it, it's not a full finished product right it's just the starting point and the point of it is to figure out are people excited about it are people using it and are people paying for it so if you can cut that uh, like initial development and launch phase from nine months to one month and then answer those risky questions like does anyone want my thing is anyone willing to pay for my thing if you can answer that like in one month versus nine months uh that's an um, amazing and then you know like you get feedback from people you talk to them and then you figure out okay this is working this isn't working i need to fix this i need to add that and you know you iterate and eventually uh build a six-figure app like it's not a straight line but uh, the faster you can launch and uh, gather feedback uh the better chances you have of uh, survival uh then misconception number five 
I don't want to monetize my first version. It's, it's, uh, it's not uh, moral to do so. So if you give people free stuff and uh, right, if you let, 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 let just uh, say you are giving a like $10 worth of value for $0, like who wouldn't want that, right? Like if you give me ten dollars and ask and doesn't don't ask anything in return, I mean thank you. Like <laughs> why would I not not take that? So so by launching your free app, you're and uh, thinking that you are uh, you know like validating your business idea. I mean you you aren't. Uh, it's you're just giving away free value and people will probably like it. But would they pay for it? Do you have a business or is it just like a fun project for you? So. You cannot answer that question uh, unless you put a paywall. And uh, let's go again to the examples. So for delicious, uh, you already saw there was never a paywall, so zero. So I never really validated the business idea. And people weren't even like really using it and, and sticking. So so like uh, the, the payment was never the issue. It's just that the, the, the product idea just wasn't uh, exciting. On the other hand, for Mind, I monetized the day one. So, so I built the app in four weeks and uh, it had paywall from day one. And uh, within like first two weeks or so, there were already like two people that were paying a monthly subscription of $5. And that's, that, that's what you are aiming for uh, with the MVP, with that fast launch of uh, like a month or so. The faster you can validate, are people willing to pay for my thing? The the better. And just to give you like a context and to stretch your <laughs> to stretch your mind a bit. So, the initial version of Mind had five lessons, and two of them were completely free. And for the remaining free lessons, you need to pay. And lessons are like on average like five minutes to you know it takes you five minutes to to go over them. So that means people were paying for 15 minutes worth of content, $5 per month. Okay. And two people gladly paid within like first two weeks. And then that number like grew uh, really like, like crazy um, for the first like nine or 10 months or so. It just, it just kept growing and growing. Now, the point wasn't like to scam people, right? Uh, giving 15 minutes worth of content for like monthly subscription. Uh, no. So the point was to validate the idea as and, and as soon as I saw people paying, I immediately, you know, uh, rushed and build, uh, wrote and uh, published more lessons. And, uh, you know, then it had like uh, more than 100 lessons in the app and uh, some additional tools and, and so on. But uh, that's the easy part again, like writing lessons and building the app, that's the easy part. The hard part is validating. And that's the common theme here. So the faster you can get to validation, the better. And and what, what, what does that include? So that includes like fast launch. That includes um, adding monetization day one. And that includes like knowing who your users are and wh where to find them and just finding them for free so one, one more thing that i did, did wrong with the delicious i was uh, focusing on ads early on and that's just burning money versus uh, for mine that was uh, just uh, you know being part of the communities and posting there and uh, yeah people were excited and downloading and using the app and and paying so yeah that's it for this video i hope uh, it helped you like shift your perspective a bit and, and your mindset and uh, how you should be thinking about app, app businesses. So, so to sum it up, like tech is the easy part. So figure out who your users are, what's their burning problem, and then try and solve that problem within like four weeks and launch and uh, just see what happens and monetize from day one. And if they are paying, then that's amazing. Continue building. But if not, then uh, figure out where people drop off, what they don't like and and try and fix that and, and talk to your users and see how, how you can make the, the product better. So that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, uh, just give it a like and 
Also comment below uh, if you have any uh, questions or thoughts or if you want me to cover any topic like in more detail in the future videos. Uh, and also subscribe because I will be releasing every video uh, like this. Uh, I will be re releasing like once every week. Thanks.